um, I'm going to do a how-to on how to put a poster into the Baroque uh, plastic pages. I've done a review on Baroque before and um, a lot of people have asked how do you get them into uh, into the sleeves, into the posters, into the sleeves without ruining the posters. It's a little bit tricky in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, uh, it's, it's relatively easy. So what I have here for setup uh, is I have my two flat files uh, that I have set up side by side that I store my posters in or some of them. And then um, what I do also is I try to get the poster, if it comes to you rolled, I try to get the poster to be somewhat flat. Um, I store mine underneath like this plexiglass. You can see the Star Wars and a few others right now are underneath this plexiglass to help flatten them out a little bit. I've done that already with this poster. Uh, and so this one is kind of ready to go. Um, and uh, so this is how I do it. So you have the, the sleeve here and the poster. And what I like to do is to uh, open the sleeve and insert one edge of the poster few inches, slowly opening the edge and sliding the poster in. Watch that edge. You don't want to you know, get that edge caught up um, and damage it at all. So then once I get the poster in there, you know, a good four or five inches or so, what I like to try to do, which doesn't always work, but I like to try to take my hand here and slide the sheet up and around the poster as opposed to moving the poster. The reason I do that is because in this case it doesn't matter too much, but if this were a double-sided poster, you wouldn't want to slide the poster and potentially scratch the other side. So I hold this down steady and I slowly pull the sleeve um, up onto the poster. Just keep doing that, unrolling. and so on and so forth. Now, if you end up getting crooked, what I usually do is I watch one edge to see that the edge is going the, the same you know, distance all the time. If you end up getting crooked, it's gonna be hard to push. You might need to just pull the poster out a little bit to straighten it. And then once it's straightened, continue. Now, as you get down towards the end, it's gonna to start to buckle a little bit and it's not gonna to wanna to push as much. So then what you can do is then at that point, you can take the poster and start sliding the poster in little bit at a time. If you need to just wiggle it back and forth a little bit, you can. That helps get it in there. There you go, that's nice and smooth. I'm a little crooked there, so I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. Back in. Little bits of wiggles. And boom. She's in. Uh, so that's pretty much how I do it. Um, I will probably do one also for a folded one uh, and show you how that's done. Uh, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with another one. This is the folded um, sheet. And it's pretty much the same as the unfolded, uh, other than obviously it's, it's not rolled. Um, but you're gonna use the same technique for the most part. The only difference really here is that you don't have control of the full poster like when you do in the beginning. Uh, so you'll have to just take one edge of it, again very carefully, slide it in. It's a little bit trickier to not damage the very first, or very front I should say, of this. But it's the same idea. Get that first inch or two in. Again, uh, if it's folded, it's most likely not going to, to be double-sided, but I still like to try to, to send this up, uh, just like I did with the rolled. Now, the only thing you have to watch for here, too, on the folded, is every, every one of these little crease lines, okay, as you get to it, you don't want to catch the edges, which may or may not uh, be coming apart, or the middle. So you might have to stick your hand in there a little bit more. As you get to this, make sure that you're not catching that fold and ripping it apart or damaging it. OK. 
Alright, so now that's in again, so that fold is by. Again, we're slowly kind of wiggling it. Folded's are a little harder than the rolled, but again, with a little practice, you'll get there. Get to this next fold line. Again, just be careful that you're not catching it and tearing it. And then once you're past that, then you keep going. And again, now you can maybe grab the end here and do a little bit more wiggling in. Sometimes you have to puff this out a little bit. There she goes. My cat's playing with my feet. Hi, Robert. Stop playing with my feet, Robert, so I can do this. If you have a really expensive poster, you probably don't want the cat <laughs> around. There we go. She's starting to go. This last bit is always tricky. There we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Getting close. Pop it out a little bit. There she goes. And since this is an older one, it's a little longer. There she goes. Now, now she's in, ready to be flipped over, and another one put in. I uh, hope that helps. Thanks.